Here in New York, former Trump fixer Michael Cohen is set to take the stand today as a key witness in the New York civil fraud trial against the Trump Organization. Former President Trump is expected to be in court for the highly anticipated testimony, which originally was scheduled for last week, but delayed after Cohen cited a health issue. Cohen has said it will be his first time seeing Donald Trump in five years. Joining us now is former litigator and MSNBC legal analyst Lisa Rubin. She's outside the courthouse in Manhattan. Lisa, a fascinating day shaping up behind you. Of course, there is what Michael Cohen knows, what he's going to testify to, and then the personal dynamic of Michael Cohen, the man who was indeed the fixer, more than the personal attorney for Donald Trump for so long, staring him down in court. It's going to be a crazy day, Willie. I know that you guys are huge sports fans at Joe, and I can't think of any match or rematch more anticipated in my own life as a legal observer than this one. As you noted, Michael Cohen is expected to testify to his communications with both Trump and Alan Weisselberg about Trump's net worth. He has previously testified that essentially Trump communicated to them what he thought he was worth and then expected them to work back backwards from there to arrive at values for individual properties in the statements of financial condition. When Alan Weisselberg was on the stand, he said that never happened. Cohen wasn't a person who had carte blanche to walk into Trump's office as he, Alan Weisselberg, did. He really tried to minimize their relationship and present Cohen as a suck up. That's not Cohen's account of events, as you well know. As I sit here right now, there have been massive lines to get into the courthouse, helicopters whirring overhead, and a new security apparatus in terms of all the barricades here indicating that the former president is expected. So far, we've seen New York Attorney General Letitia James enter the courthouse. We're still waiting for both Michael Cohen and former President Trump, Willie. It's going to be quite a day. As you say, Michael Cohen, we cannot overstate his role in Donald Trump's life over the years, calling media, calling all kinds of people to do Donald Trump's bidding, broke them, of course, in the last five years and now testifying against them. Lisa, well